Hi folks, this is the status for 25 July 2021. Um, this weekend I was able to get out the brush assembly and shaft assembly build video. I was hoping to get to the first Paradox, uh, at least the Paradox 2 measurements. But unfortunately, the brush assembly for the Paradox I showed you last weekend uh, didn't have the right hole uh, diameter. So I had to reprint it. And unfortunately what happened was, I don't know if you can see it, but when I reprinted it again, maybe if I pull it up to the camera, you can see that this post here, which should be straight, has like a little shift in it. Like everything got shifted. And so what happened was the 3D printer lost alignment and this whole, every row above this area, including this guy, is shifted off. So then I made a little correction, hoping that would fix it. And it happened again, just at a much lower altitude. And then I did it again and it happened again. And then I uh, tried something else where I, instead of building it in this direction, I built it in this direction and I sat there um, and slowly helped feed out the uh, filament. Because what I think is happening is because I'm feeding from an external spool and the spool has a lot of inertia, that in and of itself isn't a problem because this worked all this worked all winter. Uh, but when it's printing these areas up here, okay, it goes quickly from this one to this one to this one and then back again. Okay, so when it has to transition really, really quickly, um, I don't think the spool can keep up with the road motion of the head and I think it's causing the head to skip. Um, so, and, and part of it, I think, isn't the, so much the fact it's the inertia of the spool. I think there's additional, because of the high humidity that we're experiencing, is the humidity inside the feed tube is causing more uh, stickiness of the filament in the tube. So we have the uh, compound problem of the inertia of the feeding spool along with the, and, and I, so when I got to the last one, what I did was, is I just, uh, just make sure this is the right one, that is the right one as I sat there and I basically made sure that the filament was fed out. So all the printer had to do was overcome the stickiness of the feed tube and that seemed to have worked. Um, I also printed it 90 degrees. I don't think that was really an issue but it was something else to try. So we finally got this done. So I was hoping to get the Paradox 2 test done this weekend but because of this 3D printer issue we didn't get there. Uh, another good development is I was started the third paper of Ethereal Mechanics, which will be an introduction to the Distinti Ether model. And um, that should be a quick write, because I'm just putting out just enough, because one of the problems I'm figuring out with Ethereal Mechanics is, is I can't have a whole paper on the Ether model, and a whole paper on the model of matter, and a whole paper on uh, the, the, the field theory. Okay, because what you need is you need to introduce a little bit of the ether so that you can introduce the basic uh, model of matter. The basic model of matter gets you to be able to introduce the basic field theory. Once you have the basic field theory, then you can go and start introducing the advanced ether model, which leads to the advanced model of matter, and then the advanced field theory. I, so that was one of my dilemmas. I, can't, I couldn't release just one paper, which would be the ethereal model because it dovetails with all the other models. And so what we're going to do is there's going to be Ether Part 1, uh, uh, or maybe, I don't know if it's going to be Part 1 or if it's just going to be basic uh, concepts, and then introductory concepts of the model of matter, then introductory field concept, and then we go back and do the advanced. Um, so that's, you know, so at least the next paper is going to be the basic Ether model with a lot of foreshadowing of what's to come. So this is, I just started the abstract of this paper this week. Uh, and I'm writing that in conjunction with continuing on with the paradox. So don't worry, I won't delay this. Uh, the, the paper writing is pretty much happening at night when I go to work over the week where I'm not here. When I'm home, I'm primarily working on paradox build. Anyway, that's all for the status this week. Sorry for the delays, but you know, hey, stuff happens.